Hello. Welcome back to the Sankofa Pan-African series with me, Bomi Oyinsong. In this episode, I'd like to tackle the question, were ancient Egyptians white or black? While this question might sound nonsensical, it is one which has never been laid to rest, even within some academic circles. But we should, however, marvel at the ridiculous claims by some history books which ascribe the ancient Egyptian civilization to Hamites. These historians describe Hamites as, wait for it, whitish black people in spite of evidence which shows that the prehistoric native Egyptians, both in the Old and New Stone Ages, were people who migrated to Egypt from other places within the continent of Africa, located south of, 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 um, of Egypt. This implausible claim that the earliest civ Egyptian civilization was achieved by people who were not Africans is still prevalent, even in spite of evidence to the contrary, written in stone. Stone. The earliest recorded history of the origins of the Egyptian civilization are the Edfu texts, which records the earliest history of the Nile Valley and the origins of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Now, the Edfu texts record that Horus, who was the oldest pre-dynastic ruler of Egypt, came from an area which was south of Egypt after conquering other places in the south. Horus then moved northwards and the people whom he conquered submitted to his rule. This ancient... Um, Edfu text narrate how through this king who came from the south of Egypt, civilization was brought in the form of iron smithing to Egypt. His followers were known as blacksmiths because they introduced iron implements to the people that they conquered. In order to emphasize the relationship between ancient Egypt and other parts of Africa, E. A. Wallace Budge, who wrote extensively on ancient civilizations, points to several aspects of religion and customs of the ancient Egyptians that suggest that their original home was somewhere around Uganda and modern-day Somalia. Other researchers of remote antiquity have also written extensively to show that ancient Ethiopia had a population that was large and powerful enough to conquer ancient Egypt. And it did. We'll get to that in later episodes. Now, studies like the, ones con uh, the one conducted by Wallace Budge show complex, complex interconnectivity between the ancient Ethiopian civilization and ancient Egypt. The ruins of old Zimbabwe, which are built in stone and bear similarities to Egyptian architecture, also prove the complexity and connectivity between ancient Egypt and sub-Saharan Africa. It is only logical to then assume that the Nile River must have served as a cultural conduit for taking aspects of civilization and culture back and forth between Egypt and its sub-Saharan African neighbors. As such, the Egyptian civilization which preceded the Greek and Roman civilizations cannot be seen to have been isolated from the rest of the African continent. Again, it is equally important to challenge some of the claims about the contributions of ancient Greece to civilization. One of the examples of such claims which should be questioned has to do with the field of medicine and, and its evolution. 
and how the contribution of Imhotep, an ancient Egyptian, to this field of medicine has been overshadowed by Hippocrates, who was Greek. Now, Imhotep has been credited as one of the architects of the pyramids in Egypt. This naturally places him in a time and age well before Hippocrates. He was chancellor and court physician to Zosa, ruler of Egypt. He lived and died and was deified as the god of medicine 2,000 years before Hippocrates, who has now been canonized as the father of medicine. Imhotep's innovation in the field of medicine, an area of healing, like other Egyptian ideas, was borrowed and became the foundation of what we now know as Greek culture and philosophy. Please don't be lured into thinking that this attempt to negate Africa's contribution to civilization is a thing of the past. Please take a moment and Google the question we're tackling today. Were ancient Egyptians white or black?